lastly, these are the these are the things that I'm most um, sort of interested and excited about. After using a couple of the HSGI taco pouches for rifle magazines, um, they're called universal mag pouches because they'll hold you know M4, G3, M, you know thin mags, fat mags, radios, grenades, AK mags, and anything you throw at them. These things are the pistol size versions. How cute. Yes. Basically what they are, it's just a downsized version of the normal taco. Um, and what they'll allow you to do is put pretty much any size pistol magazine in this pouch. Um, you've got the, the general sort of, the most common molly pouches, just the normal ones with the velcro flap over the top. They will mostly hold, they'll hold single stacks and double stack. Pretty much most normal mags just fine, but they probably won't hold Desert Eagle or the FN57. Whereas this, you got this little adjuster here on the tacos. Same with the rifle. Right. You can slide that down so you've got all this elastic, and then you can pull. Take a bit of effort because these are brand new. And you reach inside and you pull it and stretch it out, and you really open it. Open it out wide. I'm sure there's plenty of room for innuendo here. Yeah. And then you stretch it right out, and you'll be able to, with a little bit of work and feeding all that, all this bungee cord through all of there, you'll be able to t widen it out, and you'll get um, double stackers like Glock or Sig 226 or what else is common? The Beretta. That'll all go in there. Or if you've got the 1911, you've got a single stack, you just pull it tight again, pull this adjuster back, and you can tighten it all down again and hold your single stack mag securely with extremely quick access. In fact, I've got a single stack mag here. Here we go. It's my, my TM 1911 magazines. Get that. There we go. In there. Eventually it came out, but if you once that's in there, get it in. Then they're not great for reinsertion, but they are fast for pulling out. Bam! That. You know. But on the other hand, you can. You've got to. I mean, if I just bounce it around a little bit upside down, it's not going anywhere. You've got to really to do that and. Why you would be upside down, shaking that much, I'm not sure. Either you've you sort of fall, partially fallen out of your helicopter and kind of hang in there off a bit of caught, snagged gear or whatever, or you're into some really, really kinky shit. But yeah. If I had a double stack mag here, it'd hold it, it'd work by just stretching it out. But there's a 1911 magazine in there. Pull the elastic nice and tight, pull the adjuster down, and that's you can hold it there. That's, that's, that's not falling out, and certainly get that way up. How fun is that? Ooh. Yeah, um, that, that's going to be secure. You certainly, when you're running around with it the right way up, and I can't think why you'd ever end up upside down in airsoft. Can't. That, that's not going to fall out. You're not going to have to worry about losing a, a pistol magazine at 25, even maybe even 30, 35 quid a go, just on that little bit of metal. You're not going to have to worry about losing it, but you still retain that ability to draw it when you need it extremely fast, straight out. No, no one doing a lid, no pulling a little bit of bungee to the side, anything like that. Straight out, really fast, but still secure. Um, Again, HSGI gear, top quality, nylon cordura, the bungee cord will probably be some uber special bungee cord, you know, the plastic will be the very best kind of kydex or whatever. Um, I don't know these things off the top of my head, but I can promise you that it will be like that. That's just how HSGI makes their stuff. These aren't cheap. For an individual pouch to just hold one mag, it costs a lot. Um, I'll look on the invoice. Let's see now. Yeah, $25.
per pouch. So two of these, fifty dollars, when you could probably get, a, a, I don't know, probably ten or more of your normal, just standard, common and garden Molly Pistol Mag pouches, but they really are excellent, and I'll be using these on my belt rig along with the ramps so they'll be easy to access, quick to draw from and secure. I mean that's all you really need. So yeah that was uh, Optactical, great website, really good um, really really good selection of kit, very good prices. Uh, there's a lot of places out there that stock some really random crap by brands you've never heard of that are probably going to fall apart and charge you the earth for them. Um, Optactical not so they've got all the all the great manufacturers that you've all heard of you know blue force gear eagle hsgi etc 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 all that good stuff very good prices um i'd recommend them and there's lots of other retailers out there obviously um optactical isn't the only one i use when i want this kind of gear that you can only really get in the states they are one of the first places i'll go to Along with SKD Tactical, um, and I've been I've made a fair few orders with them, and apart from one little blip at one time, which did eventually get resolved just fine, then uh, they're they're good. So yeah, uh, that was some upgrades for my belt rig, second line, whatever you want to call it, just there. Um, won't be buying any more new stuff. Well, I'll be buying stuff for you, but it won't get here for a little while. So doing that. You know, a week, two weeks, or sort of, some more videos, more bits turning up, and I'll be chatting at you through your computer boxes. As per usual, feel free to not subscribe. I've, I've got 40 of them now. Yeah. Um, if you want some, uh, if you want some sort of possibly occasionally useful airsoft and gear and gun type info, then feel free to favourite the channel or not as in like the, a YouTube thing just on your internet browser whatever you want to do I'll be doing lots more lots more talking at you and lots more weaving stuff in the camera and all that kind of malarkey and good shizzle so yeah um, cheers for watching guys I'll uh, see you soon